But hip hop's been living that for over 30 years, just look at the elements. But I used to think that hip hop was all about cars, clothes, and getting paid. The media blinded me from the true foundation that was laid. But I remember the day that Vernon began to awaken, reading about Van Bada and the historic Zulu nation. Who'd have thought the youth in New York could break the silence and use the break dance to help end the gang violence? Herc spark parties in the park and it was more than a rumor and simultaneously prove we're not just a bunch of consumers. Bam brought the funk and the message was the truth. We learned to overcome oppression by connecting to our roots. But growing up, why wasn't folks showing us this hip hop from the start? The same folks that didn't see it as art, didn't see us as smart. But hip hop taught me my intelligence is something that can be harnessed and help me to tell my story so my soul wouldn't be tarnished. It unveiled my potential and helped me to see my dream. I only wish I would have seen that before the age of 14, before my self-esteem fell through the floor, before I cussed out my mom and I ran out that door. See, I used to sell drugs to prove that I could be loved, but hip hop taught me being true to myself was really enough. Writing to me is what freed me, it was my therapy. It helped me to get out all the venom that would have left me just perishing. I reinvented myself and showed the world I had strength. Whereas the labels I once bore used to make me want to walk the plank. I remember the day I took a dirty knife to my wrist. A kid feels like if he doesn't have a voice, he might as well not even exist. But lucky for me, the knife that I grabbed was dull, or my destiny would have never been let out of the vault. No one told me I had aptitude, so I had an attitude. I acted like the baddest dude. I said bump math in school. I didn't know I was headed to jail and throwing away the key. I didn't know I was falling in the grave of catastrophe. But learning about my culture put a hope to that journey. And when that hope was invoked, it began to turn me, took me out of compulsion, and showed me a piece of eternity. And that passion lasts long. You can even see it burning in me. But I wish I could have gone back and made better decisions. I wish I could have talked myself into having a clearer vision. Self, what are you doing with your life? You are worth something, self. Please put down that knife. You are smart, self. See, you can write, and you can release that pain that keeps you up in the night. Don't be looking for happiness in that girl over there. And them drugs won't bring you love. They just leave your whole world bare. Why don't you listen, self? Can't you perceive with your eye? Release yourself from the poison that you keep down inside. But wait, said I, I've already heard this voice through my parents and teachers, but kind of faint from all the other noise. Maybe if they made the choice to speak to me using my frequency, I would have understood what they said more frequently. You don't go trying to speak Swahili to an African without a translator. Speaking my language through culture was the emancipator. It's the disconnect that's in effect. It's the reason why we're failing. If we can make this connection, we can begin expecting to see an unveiling. You see, the, the biggest gang bangers are really community organizers who don't know they have that option. And those drug dealers could be future business leaders, but they felt they got dropped in. The jungle with the rumble makes the path kind of hazy. Let's show these young folks we got their back without looking at them crazy. Because even if they want to be like Suge Knight, living the hood life, it's never too late to escape and learn to live the good life. No more revolving, no more name calling. We either part of the solution or we're contributing to the problem. But today's the day we draw the line. Today's the day we save another brother or sister from doing time. But first, we got to take off our misconception of hip hop like we're taking off handcuffs. Class is in session. If you're ready, put your hands up. <laughs>